Hello everyone, Shamnali Gray here, coming hopefully live now for the second time trying it out to share with you about Lamas, Lunasad. I felt a strong urge to come live today, or at least to share with you the meaning and the energy of this festival. And it was not my intention, but I will do the best as I can. Lamas is the feast of bread, of the barley, of the first harvest of three. And I want to thank you if you came back <laughs> to watch this again. This first harvest is one of three, where you have uh, Lamas, Lunasad, you have Mabon and you have Soan. And I hope to be able to connect with you about those other two. But for now, this is the feast of the first harvest, the first joys of the land, the first bounty of the land. We are in this feast, we celebrate, we have had, we have the, had the full midsummer energy of everything coming into bloom and into ecstasy, let's say. And the fruits have taken their time to ripen. The, you know, the first fruits of the land have taken the time to ripen. The corn has grown, the wheat has grown. And this is the time when, you know, you see those balls on the on the, on the, along the road, all the, that wrapped up corn and wheat ready, readying for the time when there is less bounty on the land. This is the time when it gets harvested and when you are celebrating the first fruits like berries and apples. This is the time when apples get harvested. So when in an agricultural setting, you have this as the first feast. And it is a moment of joy and standing still with the blessings that we do have in life. As I'm sitting outside, it's now starting to rain a little bit and that is fine because it's our way of breathing and going thank you so that we can grow. Gratitude is the main theme of this feast. Gratitude for the small things in life, even, it is, even if it is just the food that is on your t plate, the, 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 the housing around you, and the fact that you have a bed. These many and small gratitudes can make you feel actually quite abundant and happy and joyful. Lamas is about this, and as the, there are the eight spokes in the wheel of the year, this is one of the eight, and I've just mentioned the other two. And what I'm trying to say is, is that when you honor and stand still by these moments in time, you can balance yourself out in being able to handle various phases in life. Lamas is one of the uh, stranger ones, let's say. It's the one that tends to get slipped through. Um, it's not as big and known as the rest. And that's because it comes after midsummer and is before you know Sowen and mid you know um, the the winter equinox where you have that the day and the night are as long as each other that's Mabon. Lamas is the first harvest in that sense that um, you are the sun has been at its peak and you are now preparing and I've said this in previous years and previous videos you are preparing to enter into that dip into the rabbit hole that moment of transformation I would like to share with you about, um, I would like to ask you to stand still about this moment, go outside and think about the beautiful things that are there to be taken, to be harvested, herbs, mint, rosemary. These are things that can dry, onions, potatoes, if you have them in your garden. What I'm trying to say is stand still by the seasonal fruits and bounty of the land. And when you are going to cook, why don't you try something that has to do with this moment of gratitude, this first harvest, berries, make a berry pie, make some bread, you know, and what, not only just make it because you have to, let's say, but when you are plucking the berries or buying the berries, go into a sense of gratitude of, um, of the, that you can have of the land. And it, even if you have to buy it in the shop, it doesn't matter you have the abundance of these berries but stand still how it is in nature how they have taken their time to ripen and if you are plucking some apples or have an apple tree make an apple pie and be grateful in every phase of it when you add the sugar or honey and when you chop them up and when you add the cinnamon be grateful for every phase and when you feel that going into you the energy of what you are producing gets a higher energy so I would love to know from you in this period of Lamas and it's the 1st of August and it can also be Lunar Lamas is also the 
this year it's on the sec the evening of the 2nd of August when the first full moon of August comes that's lunar lamas doesn't matter the math what is beautiful is you connecting with the energy in you and how it prepares you to be grateful and prepare for the cocooning to come so I would like to ask you to if you would like to share a picture maybe if you want to dress up your uh, a place in your in your house with the harvests of the time this time maybe some dried berries or some wheat or corn or maybe the color brown or green or orange yellow you know put some of the things you find maybe nuts because nuts is also of this harvest this feast maybe you want to make a nut pie or a, or a jelly or, you know a compote share with us I intend to make some bread I'm going to be making a bread of this time and I will share my picture as well and I would love to see what you are making maybe you want to uh, as you're doing this share of the bounty because this is a time in this August time is a time of joy as I said and to um, be among loved ones or friends share food know that there is lots to be happy for grateful for the air that we breathe the water that we can drink the food that we eat the warmth on our skin there's so much and this is the feast of that happiness but not only that but as the fruits grow some die along the way and this is also the moment to be thankful and to stand still by those souls that have passed by and I know with so and we do it again in a different way but this is the moment to also maybe reflect on the souls that haven't made it until this moment maybe even are just our grandparents or our ancestors ancestor line say thank you because without them you would not be here maybe you want to lay something beautiful at a grave you know a flower a bush or maybe just say a prayer or whatever your words are or a song drum even Lamas has beautiful deep meanings in fact all of the spokes of the wheel of the year have deep meanings and I would love to know how you feel this energy this energy that is just past midsummer and yet not the harvest net, sorry net, just not the fall that in-between moment of happiness and sadness just as if you're being stretched by an elastic band I must say this period does trigger me the most so how do you share this how do you share your joy what foods are you going to bake I would love to see your berry pie or your jam and um, you know just share with us maybe your altar your special place I hope to be able to reach you next in the next spoke around Mabon and if there is a way that you would prefer to be reached or if you would like to be informed maybe by email because I would love to reach you by email so that you don't miss anything just send me a message and I will be able to set that up for you but for now this is here in the group and I would love to share how you feel Mabon maybe with a pumpkin pie why not blessed be and I will see you bye